all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i got a short video for you guys today we're going to be rebuilding an aem fuel pressure regulator on my 99 crv i had to uh, actually throw on some random fuel pressure regulator i had laying around and uh we're running on a little bit of low fuel pressure right now so we're going to go ahead and get the aem one rebuilt and slap it back on there all right guys so right here we got our aem fuel pressure regulator and our rebuild kit all right guys so opening the rebuild kit it's gonna come with the diaphragm and a new o-ring and uh orifice I, I believe that's how that's pronounced i don't know if i'm saying that right or not but yeah and then the disassembly process this is the first thing uh we're gonna pull off here because this is what's holding the spring tension on the diaphragm Definitely make it a little easier to uninstall. And then whenever you're almost got all your bolts out here, you definitely want to uh, hold down on the top of this because it's again, this thing is spring loaded. So we got all of our bolts out. And that's what you're left with. Definitely don't want to lose that. Here's our diaphragm here. To actually, I don't see any tears in it. Hmm. We're gonna want to remove this. All right, so there's the old one, guys. And definitely whenever we're throwing this new one in, we wanna make sure that to not scratch the surface of it because it is machined fit to seal on the bottom of the diaphragm. All right, guys, so now that we got that all installed, we want to put just a little bit of oil. Definitely don't want to overdo it here. Just a little bit of oil on this thing. So when we clamp it down, it's uh, not going to pinch the gasket. It's going to seat where it needs to go. So I'm going to drop this right in here. A little bit of oil on there. It's ready to go. And then we're gonna take our spring, set it right there, a little cup. Thing is under spring tension, so you will have to hold it down, being careful on the seal itself to not move it around too much. Whenever you're tightening it down, you wanna do it in a star pattern so that we make sure everything seats as it should. Go around and make sure I got them all. Now we got all of our bolts tightened up, everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and throw our set screw up. Definitely make sure you guys uh, do this Allen key facing up so that we can adjust it. We're also just gonna put just a little bit of tension on this right here, right there, feel a little bit of tension. Uh, we wanna leave this quite loose because we do not want to over tighten this and prime the fuel system with 100 pounds of fuel pressure right out of the gate. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go get this installed on the vehicle and then we'll uh, be right back with you. All right, guys. So this thing's been running for a little bit and uh, it's up to operating temperature. Got the fuel pressure adjusted to where it needs to be. All right, guys. 
guys, that's it for this video. If you guys did find this short video helpful at all, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you guys are notified every time that I upload. I got a lot of big plans coming in 2023. There's a lot of stuff I've already invested in. Got a lot of big plans going on in the background right now. There's a lot of projects that I've, I've already got going on. Uh, that's kind of why the videos are all over the place, but um, we're gonna get caught up and when we do, I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of stuff, good content, good information. Uh, if you guys like installing eBay control arms and stuff on your car, then yeah, this is probably not the channel for you. Uh, you know, they do that stuff on down the street somewhere. We don't really do that here. So, uh, what you guys will come to realize that. So you guys will get to know first so please hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time uh you guys aren't going to want to miss this